Hello, I'm Daniel Shields of CultivateAbundance.com. I'm taking a break from working on clearing the dam wall because, well, you can probably guess why from what's going on behind me. Now, for a farmer, this is the best kind of weather. All my plants were looking thirsty. They won't be after this. And I have a lot of seeds in the ground. Probably going to come up after this rain. The, the corn seeds especially are they should be ready to germinate right now. This rain ought to push them over, get their little leaves to poke out of the ground. So, while I'm waiting for the rain to subside, I'm going to show you the basics of machete maintenance. Now, if your your machete gets the kind of heavy usage mine does, I, I mean, I chop down trees with this thing. I, there's a lot of stuff that needs clearing out here, and I've been working on that. You're going to get dings. You're going to lose sharpness, but if you take one of these, this is a single cut bastard file. Okay? Not ideal for putting a really fine blade on your knife, but machetes don't need a fine blade. It's more about the momentum, it's more about the, the distance of the arc. I mean, and this type of stuff you're cutting doesn't necessarily require a particularly sharp blade. But you can get it relatively sharp with one of these things, and it's very simple. And because this is a, a bastard grain, I guess you would say. The roughness is referred to as bastard. It it shaves off a lot of metal really quickly, so it doesn't take long at all to get the machete back up to peak sharpness. So all you do is you take your file, well, you take your machete, and you're going to put the handle under one leg to hold it nice and stable. And then you take your file, and you just make good strong strokes like that, and you just work your way down the blade. Now, the more dinged up your blade is, you may have to stop at certain parts and smooth them out. Mine's been maintained fairly well since I got this thing, so it doesn't need a whole lot of sharpening. So just work your way along until, and you can normally tell by looking if you got once you've got a pretty even, good uh, slant to it. And then you just flip it over, and you do the other side. So, very simple process doesn't take long at all, and it's a lot more fun using a sharp machete than trying to hack your way through something tough with a dull one. Now, when you're choosing a machete, don't choose one like this. I, I got this at an outdoor sporting goods place, and it was the only model they had. But it has this saw on the back, which seems like a nice feature, but it's very impractical to saw with something like this. And with a normal machete with a flat back, you can scrape you can push it. it, it ends up being a lot more useful. But this is what I had to work with and I needed a machete, so this is what I have. If and when I uh, upgrade, I'll be getting a nice flat-backed machete, uh, much better to work with. So I'm gonna sit and enjoy the rain, work on getting the post that this video will be in up, edited together and up on the, the website. So peace and permaculture.